not me. How late am I? Seven minutes and 22 seconds, Helen. That bad? That ah, could be worse. If we were running on the central time, you would have been an hour and seven minutes late. I can show you how early it won't ever happen again. Ah, don't worry about it. You know, Helen, you lucked out today. Because truth be told, I had to give up lunch with my girlfriend to come and tutor you today. Did you do that for me? Of course, you're paying me, right? And quantitative methods ain't exactly a fluff course where we come from. And you know what they say? If there's something worth doing, it's worth doing right. So what's it going to be today, Helen? Well, I was hoping you could teach me about this um, chi-squared method. Chi-squared? They still teach you that garbage? Oh, but we're going to have a lot of work to do today. Okay, let's see. I just don't get where these numbers are coming from. Come on, you know this. I swear, I don't get it. You know it, you just don't know that you know it. Come on, Come on. try it again. Now, you got to understand that we don't actually prove anything with this. Then what's the point? That's my question. Anyways, as long as you understand it now, you should do fine once exam time comes around. Speaking of which, uh, what, how are we doing for time right now? It's 2.13. Of course, you know that already, Howard. Howard? Howard? How are we today, Mr. Glass? Really up the creek this time, man. Oh, well, be reasonable now. I'm serious, there's no getting out of it this time. Okay, first of all, calm down. Second of all, let's get our facts straight here. Now, it is 2.13 p.m. You, you have a macroeconomics exam in room A105 at exactly 2.15 p.m. You are currently in room D407. Are we correct? Indeed we are. Now, in order to bridge the gap between room D407 and room A105, you will first of all need to ditch the pupil check, no questions asked, and then fly down nine and a half flights of stairs to the bottom floor of the D-Wing, your locker area. This is like some kind of a nightmare. Stay with me, Glass. Now, once you get there, you will need to get your pencil case from your locker, and then hightail it down the corridor like a bat in a hell, past the A-Wing locker areas. Now, there will be a shit ton of idlers there, so brute force may be in order at this point. Past the cafeteria, and lo and behold, into room A-105, just in time to write your macro exam. In the mood for a run today, Mr. Glass? There's no way I'll make it in two minutes and 17 seconds. Not a hope. Oh, stop wasting my time, Glass. You and I both know damn well what the human condition. Namely, your human condition is capable of in times of great dress. And you, Mr. Punctuality, I assure you can pull this job off in 2 minutes and 17 seconds. With the right motivation, of course. Motivation? Yes, let us not forget now that this is indeed an exam situation we are talking about here. And frankly, guys like us don't exactly take exams lightly now, do we? Who am I kidding? I should know. I'm your conscience. Furthermore, if you miss this exam, there's a very good chance you will not pass the course. And I need this course to graduate. Radio glass. The only question now is as to whether or not you've got the supreme dedication to your craft to embark on an odyssey of this magnitude. So what's it going to be? Howard, right, is everything all right? Go. Gotta go. Late back for exam. Oh no, you're running late. Hell no, I've never been late for a class in my life. And I'm not about to start. Thank you. 
who decided to come around. It's about time. Honey, this is not a good time right now. Is that right? It's never a good time for you, Howard. What am I, infringing on your precious schedule or something? Yes, as a matter of fact, now could you please? Just where have you been all this time? I was tutoring. Oh, I think I get it. It's that ditz Helen, isn't it? Is she your latest pet project, Howard? No wonder you're always running off the second she calls. Okay, now you're getting ridiculous. I'm ridiculous? You're the one wearing the, what, 17 watches and I'm the ridiculous one? You know what? That's it. I've had enough with you, Howard Glass. I'm done. Goodbye. And don't bother- You're wasting my time, Violet! Two seconds, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> well, who decided to leave? <laughs>